Welcome back Future Medicos. In this video, we are going to look at a very important announcement from the Medical Counseling Committee related to the NRI category seats that come under the All India Counseling. Uh, I want you to take note that this notification is applicable only for MCC All India Counseling, that is the Medical Counseling Committee All India Counseling. And this notification does not affect your state counseling by opting to be an NRI in this counseling will not in any way affect your state counseling. Whatever you want to opt in your state counseling, you can do separately, but this only affects your All India counseling. Now, the second question comes, who should do it? Because this notification says about conversion from Indian to NRI. So there is always a confusion uh, should it be someone who is trying to convert from Indian to NRI, they only have to do it or I already opted for NRI, should I do it, right? This kind of confusion always comes. For me, let's take a safer route. Let's not worry about this condition. Anyone who is interested in NRI category, let them just comply to this notification, okay? Don't worry about anything else. Whether you have opted as NRI or Indian during the NEET exam, doesn't really matter. Forget about it. As of now, if you want to be considered as an NRI for NRI category seats in either say JIPMER or deemed universities or maybe like some central universities, then it is time for you to send some documents to MCC. Now, what should you do? You should send some documents to this mail ID, which is ug.nri dot mcc at gmail.com okay please take note of this mail id ug.nri.mcc at gmail.com and when you should send the documents you should send the documents from 10 a.m of 30th december 2021 that is uh, tomorrow morning uh, thursday until 10 a.m of 2nd january 2022 so not a lot of time is given is only from Thursday to Sunday. Only about four days are available. And, and it's not even four days. It's only around, I think, three days, right? 31st, 1st, 2nd. Only three days are available. So within these three days, you need to send the documents by email to the authority, that is MCC. Please take note, mails received before or after the stipulated time will not be considered, okay? You cannot even send it earlier. But anyway, if you have not seen this notification, probably if you see, it's already 30th December. Now I am recording this on 29th December around midnight. So probably by the time you see this video, it would be 30th December. So don't send the mail before 10 a.m. of 30th December and try to send it before 10 a.m. on 2nd January 2022. Now, what should you do? You should fill an Axure 1, right? An Axure 1 is provided in the notification. Just try to download it uh, or you can print it and then fill it up. What details you need to fill? You need to fill your name, that is the candidate name, son or daughter or ward of, uh, typically your father's name or mother's name in some cases, or in case if you only have a guardian, then the guardian name, right? But typically it will be your father's name, uh, the role number, which should be your NEET role number, application number, once again, it will be your NEET application number. I'm applying to conversion of category from Indian to NRI for the NEET UG counseling 2021. I have cleared NEET UG 2021 and I am eligible for the counseling. I am well aware of the fact that once my category is converted from Indian to NRI, then I will be treated as NRI for the remaining rounds as well. That means uh, this is for MCC, first round, second round, uh, mop-up round, and probably the stay vacancy round, you will be considered as NRI. Now, what does that mean actually? Can you not opt for the general management category in case if you go to NRI? No, that, that does not mean that. What it means is, Basically, you cannot avail any more reservation that are available for resident Indians. For example, uh, there are some Muslim minority quota seats are available. You, you cannot be um, applying for this. There are some Jain minority seats. You cannot apply for this. Um, you cannot apply under OBC, NCL category. You cannot apply under SC, ST. Uh, you cannot apply under probably the persons with disabilities category. So you will not be eligible for any other quota. OK, 
okay that is the meaning so you can apply for nra category at the same time you can also apply for general category right there are some general category general management seats for those seats you can apply but it cannot be eligible for any quota uh, basically um, mcc considers nra as one quota so they don't allow candidates to claim multiple quotas that seems to be the answer from mcc so decide if you want to apply under obc category then probably don't convert to nra if you convert to nra then you may not be able to apply under obc ncl category now what are the documents you need to send these are the documents you need to send you need to send five documents what are the five documents one uh, the proof of the sponsor uh, sponsor right that he is an nra basically you need the passport and visa of the sponsor if it is your father then the passport copy and visa copy of your father relationship of nra with the candidate so you need a proof of the relationship of nra with the candidate uh, typically you should get a, a letter uh, endorsed by your uh, probably uh, the embassy but i think probably if your passport can show the proof then probably that should be sufficient in my opinion but anyway they have not clearly stated how it should be proven if possible you get a maybe a affidavit from a notary public that could be something that you can send along with your passport then affidavit from the sponsorer that he or she will sponsor the entire course fee okay and then it has to be duly notarized so once again anyway you need to go to the notary public so in at the same time you can also get this relationship certificate from the notary public as well as the affidavit for the undertaking that the entire course fee will be sponsored by the uh, parent or by the sponsor embassy certificate of the sponsor this is very very important you need to get a certificate from the consulate or the embassy stating that your sponsor is in that country and they have the status as nri and then finally the need score of the candidate okay so these are the five documents you need to scan along with this affidavit along with this annexure 1 and these six documents has to go to mcc uh, from the 30th december to 2nd january okay how many documents six documents what are the six documents annexure 1 uh passport and visa of the sponsor considering those as one document relationship of nri with the candidate uh, affidavit stating that the sponsor will sponsor the entire course fee embassy certificate of the sponsor and the need score card send all these documents by email and also this annexer you need to put the date of uh, when you are sending this document the place from where you are signing your name and your signature this is the name and signature of the candidate okay what else you need to take note this is the uh, judgment uh, from supreme court of india related to who can be eligible for nra category who can sponsor nra candidates so let's see some of the important points you can go through these in detail but i will just highlight some of the important points one point at least one of the parents of the student should be an nra in case if your parents are sponsoring you then at least either your father or mother should be an nra otherwise if your father or mother are not an nra then the sponsor should be a first degree relation okay not anyone can sponsor you the sponsor should be your first degree relation don't get caught by some consultants trying to sell you the idea that they will get the uh certificate for uh, nri ship right don't don't get into that kind of um, tangle sometimes they may cheat you because it's very very clear the supreme court says that uh, the sponsor should be a first degree relationship with the candidate now what do they mean by first degree relationship i will show you that um, um the sponsor can be either um, father or mother at the same time they can also be your brother or sister if your brother is an nra or your sister is an nra they can also sponsor you in addition the first degree relationship what do they mean by that uh, brother and sister of your father the candidate's father 
their brother and sister right the brother and sister of the father of the candidate that is the candidate's uncle and aunt on the other side they can be brother and sister of mother okay either brother of mother or sister of mother is also acceptable that is maternal uncle and maternal aunt otherwise grandfather and grandmother okay this can be either from your father's side or mother its mother side also is acceptable maternal grandfather or maternal grandmother then first degree paternal and maternal cousins what do, what does that mean we said that uncle and aunt in case if your uncle and aunt are not nris but their children are nri then also they can sponsor you okay so uh, the children of your uncle or aunt uh, they can also sponsor you okay so the first degree paternal and maternal cousins and they should be nris so you need to if you are if you are getting any of these people to sponsor you then you need a relationship certificate a uh, preferably uh, endorsed by the embassy or maybe from some revenue uh, authority should endorse that uh, the relationship is uh, valid and genuine okay that's basically um, the information that i wanted to share you so please take note that uh, anyone who is interested in nri category please do this uh, step so that you do not need to worry at a later stage about whether you need to do it or not need to do it right without that confusion you can just finish this step off okay i hope that clarifies things with you if you have any doubts please leave your queries in the comments below i will try to address them as quickly as possible until then take care bye bye